CEO Wendell Barr joins us to discuss what this acquisition means for San Diego and the biotech industry. Welcome to Primetime. Thanks. Thank you so much for stopping by. So do tell us, the viewers and I, what this does mean for San Diego. Well, this is uh, another uh, continuation of investments, especially in this area, that I think bodes well for the life sciences community here. Uh, this is a very important corridor for, for uh, life science research companies, and having Cineract here as, as one of the leading CROs here in, in this market is, is, a, is another benefit to that. When you say CROs, explain to the viewers what CROs is. So a CRO is a contract mm -hmm. research organization, mm -hmm. and we provide services to the pharmaceutical, the biotech industry, and even adjacent industries on how to get their drugs or products through uh, regulatory approvals. Nice. And so why is San Diego so important to Cineract? Well, San Diego is important because it's a great location. Right. But uh, most of all, when you think about the investments in, in the life sciences, mm -hmm. this is one of the unique corridors where there is a number of different companies. And I believe there's over 700 life sciences companies just here in the San Diego area. So when you compare that, that location to other areas in the, in the uh, country, it's obviously very unique and it has a, a very large-scale investment mm -hmm. in, in terms of life science and companies. Awesome. Well, you'd be creating more jobs? Or are Absolutely. They bringing people in? Oh, that's Absolutely. fantastic. How many new jobs are you guys going to create? So right now, uh, Cineract has, or Cineract HCR has, over 200 employees, almost 250 employees wow. here uh, based out of the Carlsbad office. And we have an office of about just under 70,000 square feet. Obviously, as we continue to grow, we expect to add more new jobs to the, to the local economy here. Well, thank you. We love that. We need that here. Um, and we welcome it, right? So where, what are the trends uh, that are going on right now in the industry that you could tell us about? Well, if you, if you can go back maybe 10 years, mm -hmm. CROs had a very different role with the uh, pharmaceutical and the biotech uh, industry. Uh, the CROs basically at that time provided more of an extension of services. Whereas uh, if you didn't have enough resources internally, you would contact a CRO to, mm -hmm. to have them do some services for you. That trend over the last year, uh, 10 years have actually changed because of more pressures around productivity and the R&D investments for the life sciences companies. So what they're doing now is they're increasing their level of outsourcing to companies like ours. And that level of outsourcing isn't uh, the same as it was mm -hmm. 10 years ago. They're actually asking us to provide more partnering services more insight, more uh, what I call the thinking part of, of, mm -hmm. of doing drug development for them. So this, is, this has actually been very good because uh, it does allow us to provide the level of services they need, but at the same time, helps them by bringing some of their fixed cost structures down. Nice. And what's the competition like in your industry for your well, company? Well, it's very intense. Yeah. The, the Cinderact HCR company is in the top 15 of all s clinical CROs in the world. In the world? In That's the world. impressive. It is. Wow. Uh, and it's a testament to, to, the, to the great people who, who work at the company. Mm. Uh, and uh, there are probably, I'm going to say, at least 1,000 CROs. So they range in size from billions down to uh, just a few people actually providing consulting services. And you guys are top 15. That says a lot. That says a lot. Congratulations yeah. for that. Well, it's a big industry. Mm -hmm. There's almost $30 billion a year that's done in, in, in R&D, uh, or excuse me, in development, which uh, obviously is a big market opportunity mm -hmm. for a lot of companies. Nice. Maybe I'm in the wrong business. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, so tell us what your plan is for the future. Well, uh, on February 28th, mm -hmm. we were proud to announce that we acquired Harrison Clinical Research, which is one of the leading companies in Europe providing the same services uh, that we provide. And it actually was a, a great fit for, for Cineract because uh, we both have very complementary services and we had very little overlap in terms of clients as well as geographic areas. So what it's done is allowed us now to access a huge market in Europe, which is the second le leading market in the world for, wow. uh, for doing uh, research and development in the life sciences area, and has given the European business an access to the, to the U.S. Mm -hmm. market for clients here. So it's a, it's a huge win for us, and it's going to give us uh, an opportunity to do even more for our clients in the future. And quality work. So if you're at 15 acquiring that company, where do you see that you will climb? Would you see the top five maybe? <laughs> uh, you know, when you, I, I think what's really important for, for us as a company is mm -hmm. to understand that we're not going to judge our success by the size of company mm -hmm. we are. 
Now we, we really focus on the companies, especially here in the San Diego area, that are smaller. So we, we think we're a perfect fit for companies that are smaller in size, mm -hmm. and we call them emerging uh, companies, so they could be a five-person biotech company, or it could be a, a multi-hundred, multi-thousand, mid-sized pharmaceutical company. But because of our size and our personalized attention to services, mm -hmm. we think we're, we're a great fit for, for that size of client. And that's not going to change even though the company continues to grow. And when you say personalized fit for your clients, does that also mean improved quality? Well, quality is a, is a standard in this industry because you're talking yeah. about getting safe drugs to the market. And companies even in though our we've industry, had this compounding pharmacy uh, oh, scandals, <laughs> absolutely. Well, that yeah. puts even more pressure yeah. on the fact that the quality there, there's no such thing as good enough quality. It has yeah. to be absolutely uh, uh, dead on. And for us, that's part of our reputation. And if you're a CRO, yeah, if there's any questions about your quality, you won't be successful in this industry. Well, obviously, you didn't get to the top 15 in the world by not being, you know, crossing your T's and dying your eyes and being having optimal quality yeah. and personal care, just like you said. Well, we have this Dude. view of, of what we call shared work, shared vision, mm -hmm. and it's really been something that's been the heart of, of the success of the company, which means we partner with our clients. We take their work as our work. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we share the challenges that they have, and we want to share, you know, the, the, the objectives that they have to get the, the medicines to market, which is really the, the end result of what we're all trying to do.